And this is why sometimes you gotta be careful. You're tap tapping into psychic ability, but tapping into other things. That, that's like sending all, out a, a big signal to all the souls in the nearby area to come through and talk and communicate. Hi, Lisa, how are you? Oh my God, I'm doing so good. I'm so excited, Matt. Well, first of all, where are you from? Cincinnati, Ohio. Well, I'm glad that you're here. Right away, I'm gonna tell you something, all right? Because there's a little bit of psychic ability in you as well. And I keep hearing that you connect with the other side. So where you should say that because-, because uh... Wait, don't say another word because I already know because they're telling me. You have, you have a spirit that's been following you around or a ghost that's been following you around. They're telling me that you've been feeling a spirit or a ghost within your house. And, and by the way, a ghost is a spirit. It's just a spirit that you don't recognize. Yeah. But you got to be careful with what you're doing because listen, you also, one of the things they always teach is that if you're tapping into psychic or psychic ability or mediumship is that you also have to have to really understand what you're tapping into. And they're showing me that you've been trying to tap into the other side or connect with the other side. You're going to be careful of what you're doing over there. It's actually not me. It's um, my son. Oh, he's been doing that. All right. He's yes. be very, careful. very, very much so lately. Very much so. Be very careful with that because right away I have I have souls that are around you that are not your souls. So when I uh, say that, and when I say not your souls, it means that right when I connect with people, normally I'm used to seeing a mother, father, sister, brother, right? People that are connected to them, friends, close friends. And when I'm connecting to your side of the screen, there's souls in that house with you that you know are not that are not yours or do not belong to you. So he had oh. to be. He had to be doing things that he wasn't supposed to be doing, either either playing with Ouija yes. boards or opening things up, because I see that. Well, I also live next door to a cemetery, well, directly next door to a cemetery. Well, listen, what happens is when you're a medium or when you're practicing mediumship or practicing anything, whether it's, a, and this is why sometimes you got to be careful. You're tapping, tapping into psychic ability or tapping into other things. That, that's like sending all, out a, a big signal to all the souls in the nearby area to come through and talk and communicate. Like even here in this in this room, like when I first start, before you guys all get here for an online group reading, your, your loved one's souls are already here because they already know what's going to go down. They already know that we're going to be reaching them and connecting with them. So right now, it seems like the room is quiet here on my side of the room, but there's a million different voices that are here and speaking. So know that first of all, I, you got to be careful with that. Second of all, I have a father that's here. So your dad departed? Uh, my dad departed a long time ago. Because he's also here and your father's coming through because he says to me that you were not expecting him to step forward and to reach you today. Nope. He says to me, and more importantly, Matt, he goes, I'm coming through. He goes, my daughter's not going to be expecting it right now. He says, but I'm coming through because I have to apologize to her. He says, for all the things that we did not get to resolve here in this world. And your dad is saying to me, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry when I'm connecting with him. Because your dad shows me that for most of your life, he was missing. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. And your father actually just leaned down and kissed you. Because he says to me, can you please let my daughter know that it wasn't until I went to the other side and until I died that I realized how much I disappointed her in her life. He says, and more importantly, that I realized the struggles and the challenges that she went through without me. And more importantly, your dad tells him that he had many opportunities within his life to help you and to be there for you and to guide you. He says, and he did not take those opportunities. He did not do that. Yep. He's also got your dog with him on the other side, he's telling me. Oh my God, my dog, Maddie. Because he tells me you just recently lost a dog and know that your dad's telling me that he's keeping an eye on that dog that had wow. And more importantly, letting you know on the other side that he's he's keeping an eye on everybody. Because when souls leave this world, okay, and they do something that is upsetting or they cause harm or they cause hurt here in this world, they go through something called a life review. And during that life review, when we pass on, we're able to see everything in our life, everyone that we've helped, everyone that we've hurt, everything that had happened. But more importantly, we don't just say, oh, that's too bad and move on. We take on divine jobs and divine tasks to try to make it right. And your dad says to me that he's been sending you strength every single day and that he's been watching over you from the other side because he sees everything that's been going on with you. And more importantly, he talks about the fact that you've been having such a hard time with your children here in this world. And that's what's been so tough. Because your dad is telling me that you're like a single mother, that you've been taking care of all yourself. All the responsibility is just on you. Do you understand that? <laughs> Yeah, and I'm not a single mother either, but yes, I do understand that. Well, listen, single mother is that the other person's not getting involved. So I don't yeah. want to get too much into your business, but I yeah. do 
that you're the one that's that's solely taking care of your children and solely taking care of all the things that are going on. And it's so hard for you because you feel, your dad tells me, you know, I've been watching her and I've been watching her struggle because you've known what it was like not to have a parent within your life. And that's the reason why you're always overcompensating and doing things for your kids all the time because you don't want them to grow up the way that you did without a dad or without a family member. Do you understand wow. that? Wow. Oh, yeah. Big but, time. But I'm going to be very honest with you, okay? You're not going to like what I have to say, but this isn't coming from me. These are coming from the people that watch over you. Your dad says that sometimes you have to let your kids make the wrong decision. <laughs> he says, because Matt, he says, she's so, she, he goes, she scoops them up all the time. He says, and she's always putting the Band-Aid on things. He says, and she's always trying to save them. He goes, but sometimes they have to, they have to be wrong to learn how to be right. Wow. So your dad says to me, listen, you need to give yourself a break. He says, because if there's one thing that you learned from me not being in your life, he says, is you learned how to make good decisions. You learned how to get yourself on track. You learned how to be independent, how to be responsible. He says, and you learned so much because of the wrong that I did, that I did. Wow. So the one thing he says is he knows that you're trying to save your children from that because of what you experienced. He says, but at the same time, they also have to learn their own lessons as well. He says, so no, he goes, even though she doesn't want me to be a part of her life, he's telling me, I guess I know that. He's saying to me, I'm still watching over her because I have to. He says, because I don't want her, he says, to break down. He says, so to go through any, any more struggles than she's already had. So know that when you feel someone guiding you or being there for you, that's your father. Thought it was my mom. <laughs> but also, I got to tell you something. Well, your mother's also here, but your dad is the one who's really been pushing to the front. He also tells me one thing. He tells me that, you know, with this whole thing with your son, if your son's getting into mediumship and getting into the other side, there is a right and a wrong way to do it. So have him make, make sure that he reads about it. Make sure that he that he learns, you know, make sure that he goes in and, you know, understands that to do this work, you also have to be protected as well, because I got nervous when I saw that. Yeah. I agree. Like I said, it's the same way. Like when you first, when you first move into a house, right. And you have to learn how to, how to also protect your house as well. You don't leave the door open when you go to sleep at night, you lock it up, you turn the alarm system on. It's the same thing with mediumship. So that's one of the things that they're also telling me as well as, you know, to keep an eye on there with him. I really wow. hope that this helped you. I'm in shock. <laughs> Listen, just don't die on us. All right. I can't talk to any more dead people. I have, I have, <laughs> I have too much on my, you think you have a lot on your plate. I got a lot on my plate. <laughs> I have to hold all the secrets of the dead, but they never hold mine. I'm just amazed that of all people that came through, my dad did. That's just amazing you know crazy? to me. I'm going to tell you why. Because you sense and feel your mom every single day, but you don't sense and feel your dad. Wow. So without this reading today, you would have never known that your father was here. Nope. Oh, so not a that's his way of showing you that he is there and that he's with you. And more importantly, that he is okay and that he is on the other side. All right. I'm going to wow. leave that and know that he does he does know about your kids as well. Well, thank you so much, Matt. You're very welcome. I really hope that this helped you. Absolutely.